hello everyone and welcome back in today's video we are going to see how you can remove the digits from a string using java and till now we have covered many programs in java like arrays problems as you can see here all these problems i have already covered so make sure you check that out in our channel and uh, today we are going to cover this very important problem and all these problems are frequently asked mnc problems so let's get started let me just create one class and i will name it as remove digit okay i will name it as a remove digit i have also created one main method here now i am going to solve this using two methods so first method i am going to use is for loop and second one is the predefined function we are going to use so let's uh, see the solution one first so solution one we are going to use for loop okay so what i am going to do is i am going to create one functions okay and i will name it as void uh, remove digit okay i will name it as remove digit remove okay rem i will name it as rem digit remove digit okay and here we are going to pass one string i will name it as str variable name okay fine now from here what we are going to do is we are going to use one for loop in for loop i am going to take one variable start i will start from 0 and i will loop it till the str dot length okay and then i plus plus okay now what we are going to do is we are going to check one condition here okay what we are going to do here is if what we will do is we have character class it's a wrapper class and it has one method called is digit okay and it takes the character okay it will take that it will return boolean if i'll hover over here see is digit is a method which see i will type it and i will show you see is digit okay so see is digit takes one character and it returns boolean okay so what we will do is we will do is digit and we will pass str dot care at i okay so str dot care at so suppose we have one string here uh, suppose i will take one string is equal to java one two program okay so what exactly it will do is it will start from zero index from here from j and it will check if it is a digit then it will return true or false character dot is digit okay it will return true or false okay so first one is j so is digit so it will return false okay if it will come here at one it will return true okay so what we have to do, do here is if it is not a digit what we are going to do we will just take one variable here a string type and what we are going to name it as string result something i will name it okay result is equal to some some empty string i took okay and what i'm going to do here is if this particular this particular character is not digit i'm going to add it in result result is equal to result okay result is equal to result plus okay what exactly i'm doing result is equal to result plus care at result is equal to result plus str dot care at i okay this is what we are going to do okay so suppose at first j is not a digit okay so it will come inside this if condition and it will store it inside the result okay now next time a a will come here we already have j so j plus a it will give j a then like that if it is a number then it will not go inside this if condition you got it and now at the end what we are going to do is we are going to return this result okay we are going to return this result to return this obviously we have to change this void type to the string type okay 
and what we are going to do is we are going to make this particular method a static method if you have seen the previous video you know that why we use static okay now i will change it to static method and from here i will just call this rem digit and uh, suppose i will uh, use one variable here the string is equal to java p r o g r a m something and in between i will use something one two and here also i'll give some one two something i will pass here okay so it should return okay name i will i will make the variable name as str okay and now here i will pass this str okay and whatever it will return me the string from here so i can print it also here this one also and this particular thing whatever it will return i will just print it okay semicolon should not be there so this looks fine so let me run this and let's see what exactly is it is returning so as you can see it is returning java program so even if i'll add something here also and i will save it it will return me the java program so this is the first way okay solution one this was the solution one this particular method okay now second solution will be i am also going to create one again one method of return type string and i will again name it as remember uh, this rem digit sorry digit okay and it will also take one string now here we are not going to use for loop in this particular solution what we are going to do is now as like we already know that a string has many methods like we have replace all method in string so what we will do directly is uh, one second let me show you something here what we are going to do here let me show you str dot replace all if file type see it takes the regex first it takes two argument the first one is the regex and second one is, is the string which we want to replace like whatever string we want to replace with this regex we will paste it and it will return me the string value okay so let's use this so what we are going to use is we are going to slash d is for digits so wherever we have digit replace it with a empty string okay so wherever it will find the digit actually we are use slash d is for digit we are using two slash because we cannot use just slash d why we use double slash you can search it on google also because i am not going to explain you regex part here and this only we will be returning okay fine now here also i will use static okay fine now see this particular problem only i am like this particular is the method rem digit only now we are going to check that okay let's run it fine it is working perfectly fine let's change the this thing to something java string one to save it run it java string so it is working fine so these are the two but two solutions this is the simple solution if you want to use the predefined method and if you want to go with the traditional for loops you can use this method also hope you are enjoying this particular java series and again i am going to come up with some more uh, frequently asked mnc problems and hope you enjoyed this and make sure to subscribe and uh, Please press the bell icon. So I am going to upload these type of videos every single day. So make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.